So here we are in our studio, and I've of course, first of all, loaded the tidyverse packages. That's the first line of code that brings you ggplot, that brings you lubridate, and the packages that we use in this lesson. I've also loaded the NYC flights 13 package. That gives us these two data sets, flights and airlines, and let's have a quick look at them. So the flights data, it's got a time hour. This is basically a date and time when a flight uh, left. It's got, uh, arrival delay, and we're going to look at that in this lesson, okay? And of course, it's got airlines, uh, it's got a carrier, which is just an abbreviation. And the fact that this carrier is just abbreviation is the reason that we're going to use the airlines data set, which has got the carriers, but also the name of the airline. And we're going to join the two using the carrier as the sort of common variable to join the two data sets. This is our flights data, and there really are two variables that we're particularly interested in order to create this plot. The one is the carrier. These are the airlines, but what we've got here is abbreviations for the airlines. I think AA is American Airlines, for example. The arrival delay is in minutes for each flight to what ex how many minutes late was that flight, and if the number's negative, that means the flight arrived early, okay? We, what we want to do is have the average delay for each month for each carrier. Now, we do have the months. We've got uh, time hour, this is basically a time and date variable at the end over there. So we've got the months, we can extract the months, we can work out the average delay for each carrier uh, for each month, and we're going to plot that in this plot over here. Uh, if the average delay was positive, that means that they were on average late, we make it red. If they were on average early, we're making it green, that's a good thing. Then we're going to put in this annotation, here's a good month to travel, and we're going to talk about exactly how to do all of this. Now, oh, just quickly, uh, in the flights data set, we've got the carrier, but we don't have the airline name. Not a problem. The airlines data set, which also comes with the New York Flights uh, 13 data set, has this, the carrier variable and the names. And we're going to basically use this carrier variable as the common variable in the two data sets and join them. Okay, not too difficult. Let's do this. Now, here in our studio, I've got all the code used to create this plot. But to make it a little bit easier for me to teach it to you, I'm going to literally relook at this on a web page uh, and you'll see why it's a little bit easier for me to go through this. Right, so here we are on a web page that I've created and I'm going to give you access to this web page so that you can look at everything yourself in your own time. But for each step of the process, um, I've got the code that you need and what the output of that code would be. Right, so we're going to, there's the flights data, airline data, join the two filter, extract month, summarize, color, and then we've done the same thing. And don't worry, I'm gonna go through this more slowly. Just hang with me. Uh, in terms of creating the plot, I'm going through.